with me. Um, and again, you guys, I don't know. I, at the end of the day, I still will take this to my grave. I've done nothing wrong. And again, for anyone clipping this or making a video out of this, Activision never told me that I'm cheating. Welcome, boys and girls. It's update day. And Bobby's here to explain what happened to his PC. I'm sure at this point you've already seen, but just stay tuned because I have some thoughts and some, uh, you know, things to say about it. I might have some information that might point out and you have never heard before, but you never know. Just bear with me. Activision never told me that I'm cheating. Hold up. They never said he was cheating. So hold on just for one second. Let me put both of these clips together because he says that first and then says this next. They found evidence on my machine while the game was running that I had unauthorized software interfering with the game memory. Many don't know this, but you could stick documents inside of ChatGPT. One document that I did was the patented for the SBMM slash EOMM. With that, you can ask questions specifically. You could start to narrow those questions down to certain ones like pretty much what I got here. I asked ChatGPT if a foot pedal can be considered as cheating. Here's what it said. The first part of it basically said that, hey, it's kind of like a keyboard. It mimics a keyboard, except it's just like one key. But let me direct you to right here. It's on part number two. If you want to pause, you could pause it yourself, but I'm about to read it anyway. Here's what it says. If the pedal is programmed to perform macros or repetitive actions, especially actions that provide an advantage in game, such as auto-clicking, rapid firing, or com combining multiple actions into one press, some anti-cheat systems may detect an unfair behavior. Anti-cheat tools often look for unusual input patterns, automation, or macros, which can trigger a false positive. Now, Bobby said, well, let's just let's just move on. The, the only software left that would make sense to have caused the ban and been flagged by Ricochet is a foot pedal software as the case described was using push to talk in game and therefore is by definition a third party app accessing and potentially changing game memory. So I went looking and you could see in the background there's uh, streamers that use foot pedals. I can't receive the video that I oh, I don't really remember. There was a video with, uh, I believe, Lucky Shamu or Diaz Biffle. They had the same foot pedal. In fact, all the streamers are pretty much using the same foot pedal. Here it is. Yep, that's it right there. I searched the net far and wide. I only came up with two pages. So check this out. This review right here is straight from Amazon. This person states that uh, some people report that the software is malicious. But when you go out and try to find anything or even download the software, nothing comes up as suspicious. Seems to be like a word of mouth kind of thing because I can't find anything anywhere. Let's take it a step further. I tried to do some research and I only found one single actual person that said he's got banned. But it actually wasn't a regular permanent ban, it was a shadow ban. Upon reading everything, this guy states that it was pretty short and he's not shadow banned anymore. Really, no information is really given, but he does say it was registered as an unregistered device. I also asked ChatGPT if there was any reports of this being thrown out there. And as far as I could see, there's just reports, but there's no, still no confirmed actual persons except that one single person out of everybody. And mind you, this was some months ago, approximately 10. So yeah, it feels like, I don't know, maybe a little bit reaching, but if there's only one, Maybe, maybe, possibly two? You tell me. Regardless the case, I just want to state this. There was enough time in between the time where he got banned to the time of now or yesterday when he got his PC checked. You could obviously understand that all the malicious software, whatever you want to call it, could be deleted. It's also not hard to switch PCs and say that his streaming PC is the PC that was infected. There's a ton of things that can go on between, well, I don't know, whenever he got banned till now. After a week, you probably pretty much can see that you're probably not going to be on band, no matter what you say. At the end of the day, Activision is unlikely to reverse bans, and that's kind of how it goes. To add to this, I just want to sit there and say that you guys out there, most of you are smart enough to sit there and make your own decisions. If the person is just a genuine person and you like watching him, well then what does it matter if he's cheating or not? I get it, we got morals and values, but sometimes for certain people that doesn't really play a part. Some people just like an entertainment factor. Other people get so mad that other people are cheating, which I happen to be one of those people too sometimes. But overall, the reason why a lot of streamers pretty much still have an audience after is because there's a lot of people that genuinely enjoy the person. We all got different personalities and we're put on this earth to sit there and maybe entertain other people. I in fact like to entertain other people. So I'm not gonna sit here and beat a dead horse. The results are 
pretty much, eh, well, you know, we're not going to get a real true reason out of Activision's mouth. But I just want to sit there and say, I did some research. I looked and the results are pretty much garbage. From here, it's up to you. You're a smart people. I know you are. You came in, listened to this and heard everything I had to say. You've seen the facts and you got to make up your own mind. Do you enjoy his gameplay? Do you enjoy him as a person? Do you enjoy him? Everything that he does. His songs are got a little bit of, what's that? Good tone to them. And I'm just sitting there saying, so at this point, don't beat a dead horse like I said, and let's just move on. Because clearly there's a lot of people out there and because of all this publicity, not everything's negative and even negative publicity is still some publicity. This guy's selling a lot and pretty much he's like that train that he always has going past the screen. It's not slowing down. I don't like to see cheaters prevail and I'm not sitting there saying that he's a cheater, but I also can't prove that he's not a cheater. And this guy's fan base ain't gonna stop anytime soon and neither is he. So if you enjoyed this, I know it's not what you wanna hear, but sometimes the facts are facts and sometimes you just gotta make up your mind regardless of the facts. That's the world we live in. So hit the like, hit the sub if you want and Hey, if you want to be on my second channel just to see me be IRL, just look at me drive around or fish. The link will be down below. Hey, sorry, but thanks. I've never cheated. <laughs> Maybe in San Andreas, but that's about it. I've never hacked. I mean, I don't know how many times I can say this. I've... Are you serious?